Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Inter facing Salzburg. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalanolu plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And the starting 11 for Salzburg. Well, they play with a diamond in midfield, which makes the role of the holding midfield player so important. Is he there to dictate the play with his passing or be a defensive screen? I'd hope he could do both jobs. A game that should have talking points aplenty, and Inter with the kickoff here. Splendid tackle, and a throw-in coming up. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, as you see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the plate he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Okafor. Can they create something from here? Real chance, and the keeper diving to thwart him. He's driven in the corner. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, behind for another corner. Played short. Trying his luck from long range. Well read to win possession back. Sucic. Okafor. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? It might be on for them. Surely the equaliser. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save.
Corner kick played in. No problems for the keeper. Lukaku. He's given it away. Can he convert? Well, tremendous block. Barella. Martinez. Romelu Lukaku now. And offside. Well, close one. Gozens. The ball with Martinez. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Okafor. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gozens. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Okafor. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Could be... No shortage of excitement, level again, no wonder they're excited. Just look at this again, the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and then the shot is emphatic, he strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react, what a good finish. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, just a warning from the referee this time. And I think the referee has got that absolutely right. It's not a card for me. Chalhanolu. Now with Martinez. Lukaku. And possession lost by Inter. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Ulmer. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Well, to give an honest appraisal of his performance, doesn't look as though he's really been at it, Stuart. Well, I usually love watching him play, but he's been poor today. He just looks a yard or two off the pace. He's been outplayed in that central midfield area, that's for sure. So back underway here, into the second half. Nicely timed tackle. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. 
Chalanolu. Varela has it. And the defender coming out on top against Lukaku. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Delivering it into the box. Straight forward for the keeper. Gozens. The ball with Martinez. Chalanolu. Lukaku. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Well, as you can see from those stats, Inter have controlled much of the game. But unless they start taking one or two of these chances, they might come away from this game very disappointed. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Options in the centre. At times they make passing look easy. But then the one that goes astray. Could be a chance to break here. Excellent vision. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. This is looking threatening. Takes the shot. And nicely parried away. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. And into the last 20 minutes. Really nice ball. It did look on for them, but not to be. Will he play it in? Can they forge ahead? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Getting through fantastic work here just to keep possession. And taking it away. And the counter-attack is on, options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Lukaku. All even, but will it stay that way? Veering in field here. Varela. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And players waiting in the centre. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And intercepts again. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And he's denied them from the spot. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. He's gambled on direction and won. Oh, a superb save. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And that's how to take a penalty, low and into the back of the net. 
And he scores! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. He had to score, and he does. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. Penalty saved! And that's the end of the story! Well, that's a good save, isn't it? He's just won the game for his team here. Brilliant stuff from the keeper.